Hello everyone, uh, once again, <laughs> and in this video I'm going to show you a particle lighting in uh, Unity 5. Yay! So let's go ahead and try it out. So, before I go forward, I'm going to say that uh, I saw one interesting asset on Asset Store. I'm not going to show you where, but I saw, and it's paid asset. And, <laughs> you know what, I don't want to, to spend money for what I can do myself. So I decided not to waste my money and do it myself. Uh, so let's just go ahead and import the package particle light import uh, so the package is really really small it's only 25 kilobytes so it's really easy to download and you will be able to download it and use it for free for free for everyone for free okay so now we have this package imported what do we have material prefabs uh, you know example and two scripts let's launch uh, our example so what what do we have here main camera no comments uh, sunlight again no comments house it just environment so we have here table and close it and particles particles it's very important part of the business so let's just uh, show you so I have three types of particles simple advanced and superb so superb it's extremely extremely nice particle system let's start with simple what do we have here we have here particle system you can see all the values over here so it creates a, a normal amount of particles and uh, and the uh, at at position of each particle at the same amount of time it creates a prefab light red and then after after just a couple of milliseconds this uh, prefab kills itself this prefab has a light component you can see all the values so it has no shadow casting because it's simple type of light I mean not light particle light then we have particle light advanced it has absolutely everything the same about you know type of particle system but it has uh, you know decreased number of particle and many many values were decreased because now we have a different prefab that is going to spawn at position of every particle. This prefab has actually shadows. And as before, as, as previous type of particle system, it kills every particle after a couple of milliseconds. Then there is a superb type of particle light. So it has an uh, increased number of particles and, this, and the same type of prefab which is going to be spawned at each particle and will be once again, uh, once again destroyed after a couple of milliseconds. So it's just a story. Let's just go to scripts and right after I show you the scripts we will launch this example. Let's go to uh, the script Particle Light. It's very simple script. It's not very huge script. It's very short. It was written in <coughs> C sharp. So I used one example from internet to make this script. The link will be available uh, in the top line of this script. Here we go. This is one. Answers.unity3d.com slash question slash 3164.51 slash how dash can dash I dash get dash particle uh, position 
dash out dash off dash shuriken dot dato. You understand? Okay, so this is uh, line. This is uh, reference. So what do we have here? So we have here uh, variable for prefab, which will be spawned at each at each uh, particle. Then we get our particle system. Then we actually get list of all the particles and we instantiate our light prefab at each position of each particle. I mean we instantiate prefab. Then, 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 let's go to second script. The script is about auto kill. So, and then after a couple of milliseconds, this prefab kills itself. And I promise to show you the example right, right after we finish with, uh, with uh, our scripts. Okay, let's have a look. Let's start with particle light simple. Okay. Play. So you can see here that we have uh, a normal amount of particles and they create um, light sours in them. So each particle has light sours. So it's a basic light uh, particle system. It's really basic because we don't have shadow casting. And we have pretty normal number of particles, which is, I believe, normal for mobile devices. Then there is a advanced type of particle. Let's try it again. And I'm going to move this uh, this particle, so you will be see you will see that it's actually dynamic. So it casts in shadows, and it's working correctly. And it's just advanced, you know. It's not super B, super B because uh, I don't have intention to kill your computer. Because if it casts, if it creates too many light sources, it can kill your system very quickly. Yeah, and actually, this is uh, advanced, and we have super B. It's just extremely good quality. It's maximum of all the of all the stuff I could get from Unity and uh, keep uh, you know stability of the system so I mean FPS let's go ahead and and this is this is beautiful right dynamic particle system which creates uh, a sour sense of light around it actually I'm working on a, a fire thrower so in, in my case, in fire, thro in fire thrower, I have this ability to uh, make particles. I mean, each particle uh, kill itself after it collides with something very huge, like this table. So, in my, in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you this fire thrower example. But actually, you could see my fire fire thrower example in my previous video. The link will be available over here so you will be see what I'm going to do next yeah particle light for free for everyone you don't need to pay money for paid assets it's for free and it's very good yeah and once again I'm going to say thanks for the guy uh, which uh, snippet I you said so uh, where is the blah, 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 blah. no let's close this window so I will open it so this one you can see it here so let's just open this <laughs> again I will show you so this is very important so this is where I took where I uh, took all this work from Okay, never mind how many comments I have. Okay, never mind. 
All right, so this is uh, how can I get particle position out of shuriken system? So it's it, it, this is where all this started. So I started to search all the Google, you know, how to get a position of my particle, and then I started to use this part of script to create my own particle light system. So yeah, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in next video of something we're interested in or maybe not we're interested. Bye.